Annalise Sanderson was just 18 when she died. She was born in Runcorn and loved to sing and perform, but she was vulnerable and she had a long history of trauma and had lived with mental health issues for most of her life. In the summer of 2020, she stole a pair of trainers and assaulted the emergency workers who tried to intervene. When she was arrested, she poured petrol all over herself and tried to drink it. But instead of being given psychiatric treatment, she was sentenced to 12 months in HMP style. Like too many others, Annalise was imprisoned for a minor offence, and her offending would have been better addressed more effectively in the community. Annalise's mum, Angela Gray, said she repeatedly told prison officers that her daughter was a suicide risk. Her concerns were ignored, and instead her offending was put down to her bad behaviour. On the 17th of December, after being on a suicide and self-harm prevention plan for only nine days, she was discharged by the mental health team. Five days later, on the 22nd of December, she was found dead in her cell. Annalise wasn't referred to a psychologist or a psychiatrist while in prison, and according to an ombudsman's report, there were missed opportunities to carry out regular, structured welfare checks. Her friends paid tribute to her, describing her as the kindest of girls. She wasn't just anybody. She was our friend and was truly loved by all who met her. Annalise lit up any room she walked into by singing or laughing. She touched the hearts of all who knew her and was the most funny, caring and kindest of girls. She had a way of making you laugh even when you didn't want to. That was down to her bubbly sense of humour. Annalise's mother said her death at the Cheshire Institution last December has left her broken and destroyed. The prison's kitchen porter added she should never have been in prison. She needed sectioning and evaluating properly to see what was wrong with her and to try to put her on the right path to live a normal, stable life. The same year of Annalise's death marked the 10-year anniversary of Sarah Campbell's death at HMP Style. She too was just 18 years old. This exposes how little has changed in how the Ministry of Justice treats women with mental health issues with excessively punitive measures leaving them unsupported and even more vulnerable. Annalise Sanderson is the fifth prisoner to die at HMP Style over the last three years. Nicola Birchall, 41, died while in custody at HMP Style on February 2018. On June 4, 2018, Imogen Mellod, 29, died at HMP Style. Christine MacDonald, 56, was found collapsed in her cell while serving a sentence at HMP Style on March 3, 2019. She was taken to Withenshaw Hospital, where she later died. Sarah Knowles, 48, died at HMP Style on May 10th, 2019. When will they stop killing our sisters? <laughs>